Good evening. Welcome back. So today's been a fairly decent day. Plenty of sunshine, a little bit warmer than the last few days for certain, but it was still an exceptionally cold morning in the mid-20s. This morning was the second freeze warning, and guess what? We have a third one for tomorrow because we're going back below freezing again. Now, as we take a look at the radar, scopes are clear. I expect that to change in about 27, 28 hours. The next storm wave will move into the high country tomorrow afternoon. It will move into the valleys late tomorrow night and spread across the region. Now, let's go over the watch and warnings. We have a freeze warning for Junction as well as Delta Montrose out to the edges of Crawford as well as Gateway and Moab. That is the third one. We will all go to freezing tonight, but everyone will. That's really specifically for plants down down here at the bottom of the valleys. Then the big ones. We've got ourselves that winter weather advisory. That's from 6 a.m. Wednesday till midnight on Thursday. Then a winter storm watch across a huge zone from Vail, Aspen, Fair Play, Buena Vista, edge of Gunnison out to Glenwood Springs, where we expect 6 to 12 inches of snow out of the next storm system. Hard to believe when you look outside America's mattress tower cam. We're at 48. Winds west northwest at 8. Still from that Arctic cold front. Humidity at 15. Dew point 2. Pressure up. 30.12. Down in Montrose, you're at 46 winds northwest at 9. Sunny skies there. Humidity, though, bone dry at 15 with a dew point of 1. Pressure 30.13. Overnight, we will see the skies begin to come partly cloudy. That will keep us from getting into the low 20s. Instead, bottoming out at about 28 as the clouds build in to bring us partly cloudy skies. Your air quality index coming in at 33. And guess what? Sounding like a broken record, but trees are still high to off the charts while grass, weeds, and mold are still fairly low. When we look at temps. We're in the 30s over the snowpack and high country, upper 40s to a couple of low 50s down here at the valleys. That's anywhere from about 1 to 8 degrees warmer. The exception is Moab and the cellar. They're about 2 and 4 degrees cooler. Winds out there not nearly as strong as the last few days. 10 to 20. We have seen gusts of about 30 just in the last hour alone. 28 in Rifle, 22 in Delta, 19 here. When we look at wind chill, it feels like 29 in Aspen, 44 here, 41 in Montrose. Exceptionally dry environment. We're lucky the winds aren't as strong. We are seeing some negative dew points like Delta and Montrose indicating an exceptionally dry environment. Humidity's teens to single digits is bone dry. When we go across the state, we don't even have clouds. Our environment is so dry at this point. Isolated showers in northeastern Colorado. We're at 48, 46 in Montrose. Denver starting to warm up at 45. Satellite scan does show that that last storm left significant snow on the ground in eastern Colorado, even down to the deck in Denver. Let's go wide. What happens now? Interesting pattern plays out. We have northwest flow. We have the high pressure that's giving us sunny skies today. As we put this into motion, here comes the next storm system. Wednesday night with a mild cold front, not arctically fueled, but creates a huge snowstorm in eastern Colorado. Bursts of snow over the high country up to a foot, as we saw from those watches and warnings. And we stay in that flow pattern, meaning several waves as we move over the next seven days. Let's take a look at our exclusive HD future cast. We move through tonight. Tomorrow, isolated snow already in the high country. Storm moves in late Wednesday night into Thursday, bringing showers and a wintry mix down to the valley floor and up to 6 to 12 inches in the high country. Now, speaking of which, what are our computers projecting at this point for snow out of this storm system? Well, somewhere right around about 6 for Aspen, 6.5 in Glenwood Springs, but you may have trouble trying to get into Denver if you are headed through the Vail Pass, especially Friday morning, where we expect up to a foot of snow. Quick check of the rain projector, calling for 0.02 here, 0.07 in Montrose, but there is a threat of thunderstorm development late into the afternoon on Thursday. If we could pull one of those thunderstorms in, that would definitely change the game here from trace amounts of rain to maybe a quarter half inch we desperately need. Either way, wet Wednesday into Thursday, I got another small chance Friday and Saturday, and another system with a mild cool front on Monday. The same is true in Montrose, just a little better chance of snow instead of showers. We'll be right back.